Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Keep up the good work. Right. It's happened. We've had an update. <laughs> We're going to be calling this the balloon fiasco um, as an update. Uh, but I don't know if it's actually a fiasco. But we'll call it that because that's what everybody seems to be annoyed about is the differences to the balloon. So it is uh, July 16th, I believe, today. 16th of July 2020 and yesterday we had an update in the game about uh, I don't know there must have been about 30 minutes of maintenance and then uh, five minutes later the game was updated uh, five minutes after that I got my first comment on YouTube going when are you gonna put a video out about the new update <laughs> went, holy crap uh, I have no idea but we're gonna do that this morning now I've had a quick look around uh, a little bit last night and a little bit this morning uh, a lot of people have also commented on my community page on YouTube about what they found uh, so we're all doing science together which is fantastic thank you so much if you uh let me know what you think the new changes are and what you think of them um but we're going to go through them slightly systematically if we can if i can try and remember to do it systematically but basically we have kind of four major areas now the game should have sent you a mail um and it should be somewhere in, a, in a here uh let's just pop in i think in the system let's look for the mail no it's not in system it's going to be in studio Come back, studio. Uh, here we go. Announcement. Okay, so let's just read through this quickly together and then we're going to have a look. Uh, we can claim that, thank you. Um, optimizations. We have optimized the power calculations. Heroes are invaluable in setting, settling conflicts between empires. To ensure matchmaking is fair throughout all events and activities, the administration has adjust, adjusted power ca calculations to include hero power. Okay, so let's have a quick look at that. That means there is now something called Hero Power, um, and that has been added to your Legion. So if you look at your Legions here, what you will have noticed is that they have increased in power. Mine definitely did. Uh, all of them have increased in power. Yesterday, this was about 520,000. This was 400 and something. The demolition, the power here, not the demolition value. Um, this was uh, 1.8. This was 1.6, etc. So there's been a lot of increase there. Overall, I added about 2 million in power up to this top uh, level um, which is not bad I guess uh, that means the heroes are now calculated in there you can also separate it out and see if you go into Lord info uh, we now have a thing called hero combat power and we can see exactly that that added 2.3 million uh, power to my base which was fine I like that that's very nice of them I think that works very well and it's a smart move to make uh, let's go back and have a look at what else they've done uh, bang let bangity bang 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 Two troop attribute optimization to in further increase each Lord's plundering abilities we've increased marching speed and capacity for some troops okay this is slightly harder to uh, find out simply because uh, I don't remember exactly what it was before uh, but let's go and have a look through here uh, and we can go to the university and we can go have a look at some troops um, actually no let's do it uh, here whoa calm down screen let's go into here uh, and go train and this way we can look at all the troops so currently uh, the information here this is definitely increased marching speed because I'm damn sure that used to be 28 uh, lumber consumption has gone down we're going to talk about that in a bit but load load 20 seems a lot less I'm pretty sure that used to be higher and a lot of people have said that they think it was higher as well uh, if we go down to say a level one now and have a look at him uh -huh, bang. load is 31 and marching speed is 36 Okay, so a level 1 cavalry can march faster than a level than a tier 8. It can also carry more than a tier 8. The low lumber consumption is half the amount of a tier 8. But obviously everything here is uh, a lot less. So that's quite interesting. It kind of means that it's probably better for me to be gathering with a whole bunch of tier one troops. So maybe what the game is trying to do here is so instead of everybody racing you know to only have full tier nine troops it's you're gonna start to have a balance of troops of various kind of levels uh again 36 and 31 load so that's still that's better again uh let's have a look say at the not the archers let's have a look at the footmen i want to see what sort of load do we get for a footman now load is 16 marching speed is 50 okay that's that has changed but it's not any better i was hoping that it would be as good as a cavalry but it's not uh, let's have a look at the tier 7 
Marching speed is 12, load is 10. Food cost has gone. That's definitely gone down to 0 0.08. That is down as well. Okay, so they have changed the way that troops march. So marching speed has increased overall. However, it's dramatically increased for lower tier troops. Um, and load or carrying capability, yeah, so how much you can carry, and you can see that here, this is that little one, yeah, uh, 11.2 million there, um, has dramatically increased if you have a lot of tier one troops. So I guess if you're going to be doing a lot of gathering, say every weekend or during gathering days, it might be far smarter to train up a few hundred thousand tier one uh, cavalry and chuck them in your... Uh, legion uh, every weekend when you want to do some gathering that's definitely something i'll be trying out this weekend and see how it goes and i mean a tier one troop they're pretty cheap and not too bad um let's look back at the mail uh, bum, 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 and see what else they've said they've done uh three combat injury mechanics optimization troops are undoubtedly the main force in battles to provide a better experience for our lords we have added a new lightly injured status to combat injury mechanics lightly winded troops cannot fight but they will immediately recover when returned to the castle cool i like this uh i can't really show anything about this we're about to do a reign of chaos duel so i have uh no troops and i don't want to waste the stamina uh but definitely that sounds like a good idea so now we have three categories your troops can be killed your troops can be wounded or they can be lightly wounded uh, that's nice what that is going to do is probably reduce the uh load on the medical or well, not the mint the medical where is it it's over here the medical tent so in terms of yeah, wounded this building is 20,000. In terms of here, yeah, where is it? Medical tent capacity is 419,000 for me currently. But if now we're not going to have as many wounded, I won't exceed that ever. Because remember, if you ever exceed the amount of that can fit in your tent, so that 419, those troops are automatically killed. So now if we have troops that are killed in battle, troops that are wounded, and then troops that are lightly wounded, as long as my troops that are wounded are not over 419, and that's what's going to probably happen with lightly wounded, is the lightly wounded will make up the difference of that. So that's actually going to be quite a good thing and will help and means that your medical tents, uh, while still very important, will probably suffer less strain in the long run. Uh, let's go back and have a quick look at that. The next thing, whatever else they've done. Let's hurry up some screen. Uh, it was studio, wasn't it? Yep, here we go, in there. Uh, trading house function optimization. Added function, use item to refresh the trading house for more resources. Reduce the time between each balloon visit. Right. So this is, I guess, the big one, which is why we're going to call this update the balloon update or the balloon fiasco. Um, this is quite different. And already people are going, it's the end of the world. Uh, <laughs> there's always people, when something happens, an update goes, I hate it. I hate it. Everything is bad. Um, whereas instead of just going, it's a, it's a game, guys. It's all right. Everything will be fine at the end of it. You can see now that I have a balloon here and the ticking time says 2 hours and 22 seconds, uh, 22 minutes. Um, I have not logged in today. So this is the first time I've logged in and it is roughly, what time is it after reset? It's nearly seven hours after reset. So I don't know when this balloon came or whence it came. Um, but I did notice before that in the benefit center now, you can see if you, well, this is in the, this screen is strange. You see it's all stuck up here. That's odd. But you can see in my daily supply, usually we would receive two balloon tickets. We have not received two balloon tickets today. That implies that we no longer need balloon tickets, and that is indeed the case. If we want to go here and trade, we can see that everything has changed. Woo! I quite like it. I quite like the way this looks now. But basically what has changed, guys, is your balloons are only going to come once a day unless the trading center is upgraded. So the initial stay is for three hours for the trading balloons, and the delay is 21 hours. That means it's only going to come once. <laughs> you can reduce the delay and increase stay time via upgrading the buildings. There's some text and hero skills. Uh, the cooldown resets daily and upgrade trading house to unlock more stock slots. So in terms of stock slots, those are those things down here. You can see those are locked. If I need to open, wanna, wanted to unlock those, I have to get to level 19. Let's just have a look here. We can trade now and get gold. So I guess what they're doing is taking that, because we had the option always of selling our, um, selling our ale and getting gold and that was uh, probably the main way I made all of my money every day is because ale was excessive but what I think they're trying to do is balance out that because they're trying to make a use for ale uh, or make it more important to use in the tavern than I guess to use here uh, so we can swap and this is a 10% deal and I get two of those I mean that's a pretty shitty 
what am I going to get? I'm going to get 150,000 gold. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> it's not great at all. Um, this is not a bad deal. I want some wood, but it's not. Again, we're not talking the millions that used to be on offer here, uh, which is frustrating. Because, you know, you used to, I mean, swapping 910 of this for 500 is, is good, but I mean, it's not, uh, it's not when you need millions, it's not crazy. Um, but we can also buy speed ups, which is fantastic for gems or for resources, which is very, very cool. Uh, we also have, they've moved these things here, so now we can just sw straight swap them for gems. And I'll have to check, because uh, these are the special materials, whether or not they are cheaper to buy here uh, than they were before. Um, and then we have this. This is pretty good. What's this? I can buy a quality scavenger chest for 60,000.3. I will buy that. Yes, thank you. Um, and then we can unlock the next two and see what we get there. So it looks like hopefully we have a gold, a resources, a speed up, and an other um, every day. Now, yes, it's different. Oh, I can refresh it. I did not realize that. So we can go here and we can refresh this twice a day. Okay, so what they're trying to do is you probably have two visits a day from your trading house depending on its level and what you're going to do is trade it is switch it whenever you feel like it um i don't oh, i don't want to sell i'll sell this yeah i'll sell that and i'll definitely do that again oh wait is it the same no it's different um uh, i'll do that again and i'll do that again and i'll do that again um i'll definitely do that i'll definitely do that what's this what is this? Oh, 50%. Oh, cool. So they, there's also some of the things that you couldn't get. Uh, for 700, though, that seems high. No, I think it's usually 1,000. I'll take it. 700 gems, I'll take that indeed. Um, okay, cool. So it does look like this is... I think this is going to be quite fun. I don't see any reason. 25? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, it's obviously different. We're obviously losing the capacity to sell all of our ale, which is annoying as crap because now we're going to end up with a lot of ale. But as I've said in previous videos over the last couple of weeks, I have literally just started to refill my tavern. So that's where my ale is going to be going now, hopefully. Um, yeah, interesting. So what will happen now is this is going to go away and then come back 21 hours later, depending on my level. I guess that they're trying to force me to upgrade my trading thing, which I never really had. Okay, okay. So it's cool. I mean, it's different. Um, it's going to be slightly annoying because we're going to have this disparity now where we have too much ale. But I think in general, it's not too bad. Um, I'm just trying to look and make sure that I've, I've ticked off all the things that we're talking about. Uh, hero power. Troop power wounded. Yeah, okay. Um, right. The other massive things that have changed is troop consumption is dramatically lower. Okay, now if we remember rightly, uh, troop consumption is for food and for uh it is still for food and for um uh, let's just double check these food and for wood yeah so your cavalry uh consume wood and your archers and your footmen consume food the emergency level at which they start consuming is always in here uh and it is there you can see mine is eight hundred fifty thousand. this is dependent on your tavern level however they've reduced troop consumption so that now you can see i have 2.7 million wood Troop consumption has kicked in because I'm above the 850,000 uh, emergency ration level. However, this has reduced by almost 90%. Or <laughs> well, this is 10% of what it was. Yesterday, if I had allowed uh, this to get over 800,000, it would have been 1.2 million in consumption. And I know that because I was looking at it yesterday uh, before this update happened. So this is dramatically, almost by 90%, that's reduced, uh, which is a huge huge change to the game uh, we can see here for some reason even though I have 1.1 million food which is above the emergency level of 850,000 my troops are not consuming at all interesting okay so they're not consuming any food whatsoever even though I'm above the emergency tavern level food ration which is 850,000 well 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 Okay, I don't know why that is, um, but we can see in here definitely, if you come in and you have a look at one of your guys, um, troop consumption, I'd say, has gone down. Well, it looks like it's gone down by about 90% 90 to me. Um, that's definitely the difference in the wood is 90% for sure. Uh, but you can see this troop lumber consumption, and it's a bit screwed up in the text, but it's gone down to 0 0.08, I believe. I'm pretty sure that was like one5 
six or something like that yesterday uh 1.8 uh or maybe even 2.1 uh, that's the figure that kind of sits in my head. Um, I'll have to try and find a screenshot from, you know, six months ago or something and see if I've got it written down somewhere. Okay, well, what did I do there? I just moved that road to make it look weird. Oi. Yeah, that's fine. That's just fine. Stop it. <laughs> now I've frozen the game. Uh, one second. There we go. Cool. Okay, so troop consumption is a massive difference. And this is what I'm actually really happy about. I think this is a fantastic thing. Um, I think this is really going to help a lot of uh, players, uh, especially those who are, you know, growing up, uh, growing up, who are new to the game. This is definitely going to be a huge, huge benefit to them. So in my mind, that's, that's a, just for this alone, this is a very, very positive update. Very, very positive indeed. Um, now, a few things that people mentioned, they said that troop training uh, was changed. So this was not in the little email from them, but let's have a look at troop training. If I want to train these guys, it's going to take 17 hours. That is definitely changed. No, it's not. That's only gone up by about an hour and a half. I was training yesterday and it was... No, it wasn't that... Uh, it was about 16 hours uh, to train uh, 6,000 troops. Yeah, so that uh, somebody said that that troop training time has increased. I think it has, but only by a very, very small amount. This is slightly different. I can train these guys for 2,000. That's cheaper. It seems very much cheaper. But I'll have to look into that for sure. Um, we can see also in uh, main tasks, there are some new things, which is kind of fun. So especially if you're a lower level, you might be seeing a lot more of these. But in main tasks... I, I, I this one I was added heal 5,000 troops craft one green or above equipment uh, the rest of those two three four were here so these are two new things so I'm assuming because if I do these quickly they're probably going to get to quite a lot higher levels and open up some new main tasks as well which is fantastic so main task is good because it's always a little bit of a benefit yeah, this is going to give me a little bit of resources, which is fantastic. Um, we can also see in the uh, system, uh, I can now send as an R5 a system notice to the team. So if we come in here, now we could always do this. Uh, where is it? Salary. Uh, attendance. Now we could always send a message, but now I can actually edit the message um and say you know we need you and then this is sent as a kind of notification to people's phones or devices uh so we could we always had this we just pressed a green button and it sent something automatically but now i can edit it which is kind of cool and kind of new um and then the alliance tech value has changed as well so now we have this little button here and this is going to matter mostly to uh, small or new alliances but basically we have this little info button here your technology value of your alliance needs to grow uh, so that basically they're trying to force you again to keep on uh, researching uh, in order to have the hundred uh, members that you need um, this won't matter apart from if you're a brand new alliance this is where it's going to be affected uh, increasing the technology value is just by everybody studying something so it's not too hard to increase that um, Cool, that is about everything that I have noticed and things that people have commented to me. Um, as I said, we've got the main updates are the balloon and trading system has changed, which is definitely dramatically reduces the amount of gold you can earn from selling excess ale, which is how I always recommended things to do. So that's going to take some getting used to. However, they've added new things that you could trade for and the trades seem quite reasonable. So that is probably a benefit as well. Um, also, the balloon is going to be coming less often and you can no longer call it. Uh, hero power has now been added to your total combat power. Uh, you can check that out by looking in your Lord info. Uh, this is a good benefit for everybody all around, I think. Troops have now adjusted so that basically they... The higher tiers do not carry as much as the lower tiers, which is strange. Uh, marching speed is increased for everything, but it looks like the best thing to do if you're going to be gathering anything is in order, is to train up some tier one troops, especially cavalry, and use those to do all of your gathering on a weekend. Uh, it does potentially have an impact on how much you will loot uh, during a raid as well. Troop training time seems to have adjusted slightly, uh, but not uh, dramatically, so I don't think that's much of an issue. issue. Uh, and then the final thing is, oh, material crafting. Actually, somebody said this has changed, and I did not think about this. Let's have a quick look. No, let's not move it. Whoops. Why does it always do that to me? It's fine where it is. Let's have a quick look in here. So, materials. Materials. 
It's a bit there. Materials has definitely changed. Let's see. Uh, we can see if we add this one. Wow, there's a lot of things. How long is it going to take? It tells me here. Two hours and 44 minutes. That's reduced by 15 minutes since yesterday. Okay, so that's going to be a research thing for sure. I bet you in the research for the blacksmith, they've adjusted some of these things to make a bigger difference here, uh, which is very cool. So that's reduced in time. We also have this system of crafting has been uh, adjusted so that we can now craft without the requisite materials. If we pop in here, so in order to craft a gold uh, thingy, I used to have to have a gold thing, but now it can use various pieces from everything and we get a percentage. This percentage has always been here, uh, but has not been utilized as well as it is being used now. So now I can definitely craft this gold one, even though I don't have all gold uh, materials, and I get a 69.8% chance of crafting a gold piece of equipment, which is not a bad chance at all. That's definitely going to reduce the usage of material so it means I could probably just you know some of these I can take the chance by getting to purple or using three gold and an orange which is going to dramatically reduce the amount of time you need to or the amount of materials you need to produce and the amount of time you're going to need to produce them in order to produce I said produce too many times in order to produce uh, very good equipment so that's actually a really good thing um, this means that you know it is relatively quick and easy to get up to uh, not quick but it's relatively easier to get up to some higher tier equipment uh, quicker. Uh, somebody did mention that the cost has reduced as well. I cannot remember what the cost was yesterday, so I don't know if that is correct, but it does look reasonable. I'm pretty sure that was higher yesterday, so um, I think that's reasonable. So we've, we've had a reduction in material crafting time um based on what i'm just going to assume is research so it might not be automatic for everybody but it does seem that if you've done some of the research um in blacksmithing then that's going to help but we've had a reduction in material crafting time and then we've also had a the the addition of a chance mechanic uh into the crafting of equipment so that you don't necessarily have to have complete sets of gold material in order to craft a gold piece of armor uh, there is a chance to do it for cheaper which i think is always a good thing um the only other thing we've had is that there are now as far as i know there are now level 20 giants i don't know if there's level 20 monsters but there are definitely now level 20 giants and we're going to see if we can quickly find one uh if not i've i've seen one definitely but i don't know where on earth they are i'm assuming they're going to be closer to the center of the map because they'll be higher level giants. So there's a 15. What I've been trying to look for to see if there are now level 20 destroyers. I've not seen one. Ah, oh, there's a level 20. Oh, there's a level 25 giant now. Okay. I can't see if in, none of the other bandits seem to have gone up. But there's now level 25 giants, which is awesomeness. That's fantastic. Imagine the amount of experience you're going to get from that. We're just going to share that to the Alliance chat and maybe somebody will go and attack that and we can join that afterwards. Yes, I said close this up, please. Okay, so there's now level 25 giants. Has anybody seen higher levels? Let me know. Twenty. I thought 20 was the highest. Now I've just seen a 25. So that's fantastic. But it looks like all the other... All the other bandit monstery things, whatever the hell they're called these days, are the same. Who's this? Purples. Who's this purple? That's enemy. VIP. Okay, fine. Not my problem. Um, yeah, it looks like all the other monsters or bandits are, are still capped at level 15. But we have level 25 giants to rally. And there's a level 20. Brilliant. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That is everything I seem to have found out about the update and everything that has been informed to me. Uh, if you know anything further, let me know down below. And if needed, I will do a second video uh trying to you know add new things as we go through we'll learn please remember that i learn exactly the same speed as you so when this update came out that's when i found out about it <laughs> so you know it's the same thing you know you might have learned far more than me i actually didn't play at all last night um so yeah let me know what you think click the like subscribe all that jazz and i guess i'll speak to you again soon cheers bye <laughs>